guys, I was trying to think of a video and I was like, you know what? We haven't done mudding in forever. Actually, we did mudding camping, but we didn't do we didn't do too much mudding. So I literally took like all my trucks, all the new trucks we've been like kind of using lately, and I'm like, let's test them out. So I got a couple trailers. We'll load everything up now, dude. Check this out. Okay, so I'll give you guys a rundown, but first I gotta. Okay, you guys are like, squad. Why do? Why'd you bring an RV and stuff? Like, I'm like, it'll, it'll be fun. It'll be fun with RV. We'll see if the RV can make it. You know, we've never, I don't think we've done mudding with an RV yet. So we'll see if it can make it through the pit. I have no idea yet. Um, As far as Saturday, guys, I'm not sure if I'm going to live stream or not that night. I, I don't know. Don't plan on it. Don't plan on it. I'm trying to figure that out still yet. But check out this F450. It's a 2018 Platinum F450. We got the road armor bumper on there. It's got what are these tires called? Are these rims called? Here, let me go. Let me go to it quick. And let me show you guys. I don't know if these are called um uh, Alocas? 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 Man, I dude, I pronounce everything wrong. Alocas with the spikes on the side. <laughs> dude, I love that. You see that on semis, of course, sometimes. Uh, I mean like uh, in movies, I guess, more in movies. Uh, sometimes you see it on semis, I guess. We got the road armor bumper on the back. We have a platinum, so it's a platinum. Like, dude, the type of person that I drive this, I don't know. You'd have to be, uh, you'd have to be pretty crazy to drive this. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, no, no, ah, nobody would daily drive. It would be tough to daily drive this. You, you could, you could. I feel like it's just that crazy. I don't know. I feel like it's just that crazy guy that's driving this and stuff. Which, look, it, dude, it looks sweet. I gotta be honest. This, uh, this looks cool and stuff. It's just, a, it's just a lot of money in here. And then we got the Chevy. Now, this has a Cummins engine in it, dude. I wish it had just, you know, your regular gas engine or the 6.5 liter diesel uh, that they used to come with. But it just it says it has a Cummins in it. So, we'll test her out. She has the stack on the back. That will be pretty cool. And then we have the Cummins. Of course, we've been using this lately. I don't have that F-350 that Expendables Mod made. Oh, by the way, Expendables Modding made this. Hunter sent it to me. I don't think it's been released yet to the public. I know this has been released to the public, though. But I don't think this truck has been released to the public. I told him I was going to wait. Oh, I know he has a truck like this that has uh, that you can lower all the way to the ground, too. I got to Oh, I got to test that out from him, too. I think he might have sent it to me. I don't know. I got to check that out. But anyways, well, I'm curious to see how this does. And then we have the F-150. Now, this, I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a truck like this. Literally exact same thing in real life. It was built from my truck, basically. Dude, it, my truck looks like, it looks tiny. It looks like a little dog compared to these guys. But, uh, yeah, this thing looks tiny, actually. <laughs> wow, dude. Oh, man. But it's a 2015 F-150. She's, she's got a little uh, grunt to her. Who knows? She might be able to get through there. I don't know. It'll be, it'll be interesting. Um, and then we have a 2016 W 1500, I'd say. I kind of got a crappy color on it, literally. Literally. I, I th the, the color's not the best. I thought it was going to look good, but I don't know. Um, and then we have the RV, which I don't know what like brand this is. I have no idea what brand this is at all. Um, and then we have the 2018, 2018, why well, was I going to say 2015, 2018 Ram 1500. I should have put the, the new Cummins in there too that we got recently too. I, I don't know why I didn't put it in here. And then we have a color match. This looks kind of cool actually. It's all blue. It's got the Squad Farms logo on her. I put the all black rims on this. I want to pull this out actually just so you guys can see this. It's the Chevy Duramax. It looks pretty good. <laughs> it doesn't have any chrome now. It doesn't. I used to always go chrome with this. It doesn't have any chrome. And to be honest, this looks pretty nice. I like this truck. And then we have the Ram, I guess, or the Dodge 2500 Cummins. It's 06, 07. I think it might have been 07. I think it's 07 technically, um, which looks pretty nice. And then we have, okay, this truck's a little. It's the 1994. Chevy 2500. We got the brand new tow mirrors on her. We threw the tow mirrors on her. Artist Jack did that for us a while back. I think it's a, if one thing I remember about this truck, it's just extremely loud. I think that's what I remember. And then the 2018, 2019, 2018 Power Stroke F150. Oh gosh, with literally a horrible color. Oh my gosh, with a horrible color in her right now. The color's not the best, but she'll do. She's got the Power Stroke. You can hear a diesel in her. That's what the diesel sounds like. Now, I feel like these, like, car diesels and, like, and, like, smaller diesel engines like this, they just don't sound that good. They don't have that, you know, your good diesel tune, uh, your good diesel idle you're used to hearing and stuff. Like, have you ever heard a, a diesel car? It just doesn't sound good. It sounds like it's, I don't know, it doesn't sound good, I guess. Um, but anyways, we have the Toyota also. 
Toyota Tacoma. Dude, I'm so close to saying Tundra. I'll probably say Tundra so much this video. But Toyota Tacoma. And so Sam uh, Sam helped in our videos like a year ago. He did all like farming with us. He has a Toyota Tacoma 5-speed manual like this. It's uh, just a regular cab, so it doesn't have the crew cab or anything. But uh, he has a pretty cool truck too. So I'm going to, I don't know. I, I think I'll load most of them up. I just want to load some of them up, take them over there. Um... And then we'll use the 40 foot, dude. The the F450. Oh shoot, we gotta move the. Okay, you know what? Let's get the RV here. Let's get the RV out of here if we can. There we go. Oh shoot. If you guys are enjoying the video, let me know. If you guys want more mudding, let me know. Smash that like button. Do whatever you do. Let me know down the. Oh man, can I get in this. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys, what type of trucks you guys want me to do next for mudding. I think I should just do a lot more mudding and stuff. But uh, basically, I just want to test out all of our trucks. That's what we're doing in this video. So we got the motorhome. Oh, if I can dig her out of here. Okay. We'll put the motorhome up here. And then, I don't know if you guys know this, but this is like the classic muddy map. This was like the first true muddy map that came out in FS17. And so it's just always, we've always done muddy on this map. I forgot what the name is even. Um, but I, I, first of all, I can't even pronounce the name. So that's why I probably forget most of the time. But anyways, um, I got to move a couple more trucks. And then we should be able to get a trailer in here. Should I have enough room to get a trailer in here? Oh, <laughs> the interior is definitely not done here. But that's cool. That's cool. That's fun. We'll throw the Chevy just right over here. I'm, I'm just going to pull it right up alongside uh, the camper right here. That'll work good. There we, dude, I love the little honk. The little, like, uh, when you get out of it, isn't it? <laughs> I love that. Okay, anyways. Let's see if we can purchase the trailer. I don't know if we're going to be able to. We may be able to. There we go. Okay, we're good. And then now I'm going to go grab... The F-450, hook it up to it. <laughs> Dude, I feel like this is... You know what? This is like Diesel Brothers type. This F-450 is like Diesel Brothers type, I feel like. You know, this is what you'd see Diesel Brothers using. A truck like this. I love the bumpers. I love the bumpers on her. The road armor bumpers. That just looks looks sick on her. The Platinum. Dude, okay. So, I was thinking about this. I shouldn't even offer it up to you guys. I really shouldn't offer this up to you guys, but... Should we get this truck for the new farming series? Or does it just like, it doesn't go along with it? I feel like it doesn't go along with my farming series. It's just too crazy, I guess. It's not my it's not my style, really. I like a nice, you know, chrome diesel truck, kind of, is what I like. I This isn't really, I don't know. I, be, I offered it up to you guys, so we'll see what you guys say if I should get this for the farming series. But I think, like, I don't know. It's like, you'd have to be a crazy a crazy farmer to like use a truck like this for farming there's some out there that do it and stuff but i feel like this is more like your style your crazy style and stuff we'll see though okay i'll throw it on the ramps and then i don't know what trucks i'm gonna load up yet i just want to load this thing down is all i want to do man oh and then dig it through the butt okay anyways we're gonna get uh let's get some hmm i think maybe i could get three trucks on there if we get the little toyota but i want some big trucks i want some heavy trucks on her We'll get the Cummins. We'll put the Cummins on her. Why not? Do I like the bumper in the back? I can't tell if I like the bumper in the back. I don't... It looks... When I first saw this bumper in the back, I was like, Oh, that kind of looks ugly and stuff. I don't know. I don't know if I really like it in the back. We'll see, though. Okay, we'll load her up. Now, okay, with this mudding also, I'm going to try to be somewhat realistic. Like, go through the mud slow, stuff like that. Oh, by the way, do you guys hear new spin tires is coming out? I don't know if you guys heard, but new sp I heard a new spin tires is coming out. I don't know the name, I don't know the date, but uh, I thought I saw that on a YouTube video. Oh, she's squatting. She's a squatting. Oh man, are we just going to be able to fit this on here? Oh, dude. That looks sick. You guys got to admit, man. She's squatting pretty good. That looks that looks pretty sweet. That, oh, I love it. I love it. It's just like, that's picture perfect right there. Okay, that'll be our thumbnail. That'll be our thumbnail. That'll be cool. Dude, I love how grippy these tires are. They're so I, beefy, I guess, is the term to say. It looks cool with the just tires sticking out wide there. Oh, that looks sweet. Okay, now I got to figure out what... Okay, there's definitely no way I'm fitting three on there. I got to fit another one somehow. Which, I want to put a... We'll put the Chevy on there. Near the turbo on this one like crazy. This might be a little tough to do. We'll see though. 
Okay, so I gotta fold up that ramp somehow. And when I fold the ramp, it's probably gonna move up. Oh, it didn't. Okay, okay. Don't look, don't look, don't look. Stuff's gonna get crushed. I don't know how that works. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. Ah, that's one thing I was worried about. Okay. The ramp is just... You know what? There's a loading ramp right there. That'd work perfect. Okay, what am I thinking? Man, we don't even need... We don't even need those ramps. I'll show you guys why, I guess. Dude, literally, like a minute ago, I was like, I'm gonna be super realistic, man. I'm gonna be super realistic with how I do this. Oh, we got trucks just falling off the side of the trailer. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put the Cummins on, and then we can use a load. We can fold the ramps and use a loading ramp to get the other one on. That's one thing about this trailer. Like, think about this, guys. Like, how do you, if say you want to load down this trailer, and you got like a truck you want to put on the back, somehow you gotta like flip up these ramps and you gotta like get ramps to drive it on the back because you need this extra like five foot of space. If if it's a five foot dovetail or something, you need that space. It's uh, it's tough, you know. Okay. We'll load this on. There we go. And then we'll back her up. Um, okay, I gotta fold these ramps. And then now back her up. This might be a little tough. Okay, dude, I need to get going because half this video is probably just gonna be loaded trucks up. Okay, this is the only load we're gonna haul, just with the cool F450, and then the rest we'll just drive over there basically. Okay, this is gonna be tough. What I gotta do is pull forward all the way, pull around here, and then uh and then we should be able to get lined up. Okay, there we go. Now, I think I can get this lined up. So, I'll just drive... Oh, shoot. This might be a little big of a drop-off. Okay, I was the plan is to just drive the Chevy over there. I don't know, man. I don't know if we're going to do it. You know what? I should haul that RV. That's what I should try to do. I don't know if it would fit on there, though. Dude, this, this truck's actually... Uh, this wouldn't be a bad farm truck for the farming series. Like, if it was more stock, I guess. The only thing is... This wouldn't be a bad truck for the farming series. I've always considered using this truck for the farming series. But for now, we'll just load her up. Okay. It's going to be a little iffy. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Okay, we got to get some speed. There we go. Oh, look at that. That fit perfect. Okay, we're ready. We're ready to rock and roll, dude. Oh, nice. Okay, I got to somehow get out of here. This is going to be a little tough. So we'll pull all the way around here. Put the 40 foot back here. Whip her around. There we go. I wish I knew what these uh, tuners actually like did. Exhaust, gas, temp. I wish the only diesel truck I've ever rode in had kind of a tuner like that. I just didn't, I don't fully understand what these, what these actually do. It looks like they, they hold a lot of your engine temps and then like turbo boost and stuff like that. I think, I think it's just cool the gauges in general I guess there we go so now I've always thought guys I've always thought when I'm older like I've, I've always wanted diesel right I've always wanted diesel when I'm older but I always thought it was cool I always want a new diesel I should say I always think news the best way to go when you're buying a diesel truck just because they're they hold their value insane like if you buy a diesel truck with 80,000 miles or something it's cl you're getting some of some of them hold their value so well they're it's close to even brand new price like it's insane on uh, some of these trucks but I've also thought of getting uh, like a 06 F350 and uh, just taking it to mechanic to just getting the whole the getting it to the term what which people call bulletproof I guess I've always thought about just bulletproofing one of those trucks I thought it'd be cool because a lot of people say if you do it right and stuff obviously I couldn't do it myself but have somebody do it. Uh, that'd be kind of cool to have one of those older trucks. The 6 O's. Oh, dude. Okay, we gotta back up. This is just cool just watching the suspension go on this truck. <laughs> oh, dude, that's nice. Look at that, man. That's uh, that's just one of those oddly satisfying things, I guess. I don't know. Oh, dude. Oh, we're getting a little muddy. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna... It's just gonna be a rocket into the mud, basically. We're gonna see how this thing actually does through the mud. That's cool. Just seeing it bounce like that. Okay. Our trucks are kind of starting to fall off the side. That's not good. There we go. Our stroke, she's pulling through here. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going full throttle. And then this time, I usually go to the left. We're going to go to the right this time once we get through here. If we get through here. I'm going to go slow, kind of. Somewhat slow. Oh, we're spinning. We're spinning through here, dude. <laughs> There we go, that 450, it's nothing. Okay, that truck's gonna fall off. One of those trucks are gonna fall off. Dude, oh my gosh. Just pulls right through here. 
She just pulls right through. <laughs> there we go. How have those trucks not fell off yet? Okay, right as I say it. There we go. The Chevy's falling off. I need some more mud, dude. There's nothing stopping that 450. Oh my gosh, besides these trucks falling off, we're gonna. I need some more mud. I'm trying to think of the worst mud puddle. The worst is probably right there. The one we just hit right there. It says the trucks are kind of falling off. These are, they're going to slow me down a little bit, to be honest. Oh, dude. It was like, oh my gosh. The F450 was just playing with us. It was like, oh gosh. Okay. Oh gosh. Darn it. All the trucks are falling off now. Um, Man, I should load this F450 down with something heavier. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh man. Darn, darn. Okay, so this might maybe part. This may be part of an unrealistic series, guys. I guess the stuff just keeps falling off. There's no lock load script on this. I do want to get something insanely heavy on the F450 because it just makes it through everything. But um, I want to put all my trucks like in a nice line. I guess when we're done with them, the F450 for now is going right here. I, um, I was thinking of getting maybe a tractor or something like that to throw on it. That'd be cool. Or I guess I wish it was wider. I wish the trailer was wider. Obviously, you can't get wider because of the road, but it'd be cool if the trailer was wider and I could actually put some really heavy equipment on there, you know. But for now, we got the Kelmans. Now, dude, I have a feeling Kelmans is just gonna get through everything. Expendables modding makes some quality mods, and dude, mud is not gonna stop this stuff. <laughs> okay, maybe. There we go. Oh, by the way, I tune. I think I put a great, a good tune on this. I have like two number two on these, which is pretty good. I think it's like 500 horsepower what we're pulling at pulling now will the Cummins make her oh yeah there's nothing stopping the Cummins here I'm gonna turn around quick but dude it gets going once you start once you start uh, hitting some solid ground she gets going I want I need something heavy enough to make this make it a challenge for these trucks that's what I need I, I don't know what I could do I don't think what I could do to really make it a challenge for these trucks. I could get a tractor and put a tractor on there on the trailer or something. But I don't know. I don't know if that'll even be a challenge. Here, there is some mud over here. Now, this mud over here is like not challenging at all. Nothing's really that challenging, I guess. Oh, you know what? This is a little challenging through here, to be honest. It's going kind of slow through here. I should take. Oh man, I should load down the the platinum still and, and take it through here. We'll see. Okay, I'll whip her around for now, and then I'll go line the trucks back up over there. And then I want to get... I, there's some of these trucks that I don't think can actually make it, guys. There's a couple trucks back here that are, like, so low to the ground and stuff, and they're completely stock. I don't know if they'll be able to make it. So for now, I'll go put the Kelmans over here. And then I guess we haven't uh, we haven't tried this, uh, this Chevy yet, but she should be able to make it through everything, I'm thinking. We'll pull her around through here. Um, okay, yeah, we'll just throw her right in the... Oh, dude, I wish these trucks... I wish these trucks stayed on the trailer so we could really, you know, test this out. I could go kind of faster there, but unfortunately, it just falls off. Wow, that is done it. That is done it. Okay, we'll get in the Cummins. Everybody's going to be like, dude, squad, that's not a Cummins, man. No, nah, guys, Chevy 25 iron Cummins. There we go. Even though, obviously, I know, I know, I know, Chevy does not have... Usually, usually, they don't come stock with the Cummins. Okay, the Chevy, she was uh, struggling a little bit getting through there. You know, I'm really excited for that one Chevy that's uh, I have all black rims and it's just uh, color matched and stuff and the door handles are all blue, the whole truck's blue. Here we go. Come on, get stuck. I'm hoping some of these stuck, trucks get stuck. Oh, right when I say it, the Chevy gets stuck. <laughs> right when I say it. Oh, come on. Oh, dude, we're getting out. We're getting out. It was rocking. It was rocking. Darn it. We're just buried. This dude's like, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Come on, man. I'm just trying to get to work. Oh, dude. Oh. Okay, the Chevy's completely buried. I, you know, I'm assuming it's just bottomed out somewhere in here. Obviously. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We had something there. Come on. Okay, now I'm going to move to the left, see if it goes. Ah, oh, darn it. We're just stuck. Okay, the Chevy. She's buried. Chevy 011, one what's the the Fords 1 to know the Dodge is 1 to know we'll see obviously guys now I'm just like don't take serious offense if you're Chevy or anything I, obviously like any truck can get through here if they have like a big enough lift kit and stuff and they're off the ground enough so let's go uh let's go check out <laughs> 
right we tapped to the motorhome. Okay, we'll check out the motorhome. We'll do the motorhome quick. I just want to take her through there once. It's gonna get buried. It's got it's got it, dude. Imagine if this motorhome makes it through and the Chevy's just stuck, dude. Oh. I'd feel so bad for the Chevy fans. Oh, the, like the motorhome made it through the mud and the Chevy did it. We'll see though. And guys, like seriously, when I'm when I when I'm joking about this, like I'm joking. I'm joking about Chevy. It's just it's a friendly joke between all brands, right? Here we go. Motorhome. Do it. Beat the Chevy. Beat the Chevy, man. You can do it. We'll see. Okay, let me go slow so it's fair. Oh, oh, dude, the motorhome's pushing the Chevy out. Oh, 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 there we go. It caught. Oh, oh, it keeps bottoming out. The motorhome literally made it through before the Chevy did. Wow. Wow. Okay, hold on. We'll, we'll take it through one more time. Hey, it could be because it has a Cummins in it, engine in it. It has a Dodge engine, so it's... Come on, Chevy. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Prove it to him. Prove it. Oh, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the Chevy made it through. The Chevy made it through. We're good. Okay, for now, I'm going to go run the Chevy just back over to the corner. The motorhome even made it through, dude. There's Oh, the Chevy kind of drifts a little bit. She spins. I don't know if it's... Oh, I want to start drifting her a little bit. I've always wanted things that would drift in the game. Like, it's the coolest thing ever when you're drifting. Here, we'll see if we can throw her to the side a little bit. Ah, for some reason, sometimes it'll drift, sometimes it won't. Okay. For now, we'll put the Chevy over here. Um, I want to keep using the motorhome, but we have so many trucks to get to. We don't... Uh, I guess we'll take this Chevy. Okay, here we go. We got another Chevy. Now, it's stock, so... I don't expect it to really get through there too good, you know, compared to a lifted truck, obviously. We'll see, though. We'll see how the Chevy does. It's LT. Okay, this doesn't have any engine sounds at all. All I hear is it just going across the grass. Okay, we're just going to go quick there. Oh, my gosh, dude. Don't flip the Chevy before I get there. Come on, dude. Okay, we'll put her in. We'll put her through the test. Dude, we gotta call this like uh, Mud and Lane. Nah, we gotta call it something better. We gotta call it. Ah, okay, tell me a name. Oh, there we go. We can hear it now. But tell me a name. Of what we should call our mud pits? I don't know. I'm trying to think. <laughs> okay, I thought of something. Think. Okay, I thought of something, but it's definitely not. Uh, definitely not appropriate for uh, this. Okay, the Chevy. Okay, I didn't even notice that, but the Chevy. Dude, Chevy easily made it through there. You guys see that? Okay. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, this has got to be a bad name. Do you guys want to call it? Oh, okay, no. Oh, okay, how about for this lane? How about for this lane we call it the Devil's Diarrhea? Does that sound good? Devil's Diarrhea right through here. Devil's Diarrhea is what we're going to call our muddy lane. Does that sound good? I don't know. That's, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think of the name? Devil's Diarrhea. Oh, maybe I shouldn't even be. Oh, that's kind of disgusting. That's kind of disgusting, man. Okay, our Chevy is just covered, but it was already covered in the crappy color, so it just it doesn't even look like that. Devil's Diarrhea. That's what we're naming Muddy Lane. Devil's Diarrhea. You guys cool with that? Oh my gosh, dude. That's got to be... I don't know if that's the right term for that, but whatever. We'll call it Devil's Diarrhea. That's cool with you guys. I don't know. Let me know about that. Um. Okay, we need the... Where are our trucks? Oh, our... No. The shop. Now, are our trucks covered up by the shop or something? There we go trucks are back here okay should i try out the 2015 f-150 I, I don't know if i want to try it because i don't think it's going to make it i don't want you guys making fun of me but we'll see you know what i've never been mudding with my truck and stuff i don't think i ever like will just like strictly you know like be like hey we're going mud today we're tearing it up i don't know if i could do that to my truck guys to be honest but if there was a need if i had to get from a to b and mud was in between i would do it i would do it and i would let you guys know and i would film that We'll see. We'll see if she makes it. She's got the squad logo on her, so, you know, she has a little better chance. We'll see if she's able to make it down there. There we go. It should be able to make it. Plus, I got the sport package on her. There's no way we're not making her now. We'll see. Oh, gosh. <laughs> dude, she gets going. Oh, dude. Okay, here we go. I'll go slow through her. I'll go slow. Devil's Diarrhea, here we come. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
she's spinning a little bit. She's spinning. Oh, dude, this is going to be covered. This is going to be covered by the time we get there. Oh, come on. Oh, dude. I'm just barely tapping the gas, guys, a little bit. So that way we go real slow through here. You can see those wheels just spin and they stop and they spin. Oh, yeah. Easy. There we go. We'll take her through. We'll take her through this one over here quick. Just check her out over here quick and then we should be. Okay, what is this? If, if that was Devil's Diarrhea, what do we call this one, guys? There's a little green run through her. I don't know, man. What do we call it? Oh, anyways, okay. We'll put the F-150 just... Uh oh, it kind of drifts, too. Oh, we got a little drift going. That, that's the one thing I want. I want just a nice little drift going. We kind of got a little drift going. Okay, for now, I'm going to put the F-150... Dude, it sometimes is so realistic, unrealistic when you go through mud quick. It, like, bounces around to different places and stuff. It's just... I don't know. Really weird. Obviously, farming similar. This farm similar wasn't meant for mud or anything like that. 2015 F-150. There she is. Dude, honestly, it's it looks kind of like it. No, it does not look like it. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, um, let me go back and get a couple more trucks. I want to try every single truck because, like, when I do these mining videos, and sometimes I'll get a ton of vehicles and stuff, I sometimes I don't get to every... Okay, there's a lot of trucks. Wow. There are a lot of trucks. Okay, we got the Ram. I need the teleport mod, that's what I need. Wow, why didn't I put that in here? Here we go, Devil's Diary, here we come. Okay, let me slow down. The Ram's gonna get dirty. Wait, maybe this is one of those trucks that don't doesn't get dirty. No, I think it's, it's definitely getting dirty. It's gotta be, oh, maybe it doesn't. Oh, the Ram, that was no problem, dude. The Ram made it through here. Easy, easy as pie. Okay. One more truck. One more truck. I don't know if we're going to get through all the trucks. I'm going to get the... what? Okay, shoot, 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 shoot. Let me go back to the shop. Let's see. I got to make sure there's one truck that everybody everybody would want. I guess I haven't tried this new F-150. Okay, what we'll do is we'll get this Chevy here. We'll get the Chevy Dually, and then we'll get the Tundra. And then the rest of the trucks, maybe later. Chevy High Country. Dude, this is actually pretty cool. I've never... When I, whenever I got this truck, I always put chrome on it. I always love chrome and stuff, but the color matching and stuff of this doesn't look... I guess the handles are chrome. I didn't notice that. I thought they weren't chrome. Huh. But it does look pretty sweet, I guess. We'll take her through there. I'm, I'm thinking this should easily be able, to be able to make it through, but we'll see. Now, okay. Here's... Okay, Dooley's versus single rear wheel trucks going through mud. I've heard rumors that dualies are technically, you would think they're better just because, you know, more wheels and stuff to the ground, stuff like that, more, uh, more tire to the ground and stuff, but I've heard they're not even that good because they're kind of, the extra dual sticking out is kind of like creating its own path through the mud and stuff compared to a single rear wheel. So I'd, I'd be, uh, I'd be, it'd be interesting to see the difference between a single rear wheel truck and a dually going through mud or snow to see what actually does better, you know, considering obviously the dually has the extra wheel back there. I don't know, this guy, uh, one of my buddy's dads with a single rear wheel was saying that single rear wheels will usually do better, like through mud and snow, which is pretty cool, I guess. Okay, Chevy, she's easily making her through here. Oh yeah, there we go, we'll put the Chevy up here. Okay, Chevy, no problem, no problem. Okay, last one is the Tundra. I haven't used the Toyota in so long. We haven't used the... Did I just say Tundra? Oh my gosh, Tacoma. I told you guys I was going to say Tundra. I told, didn't I? I told you guys. I know I told you guys. Okay. Dude, I was about to say Tundra. The Tacoma. Here we go. The Tacoma. I think this will easily make it through. It's got kind of tough small tires, though. It's kind of weird. Tires are like a little too small for it. Tacoma. Here we go. You got her. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Look at this thing go through here, too. The Toyota wants it, man. Toyota just mastered Devil's Diarrhea, dude. Oh, dude, look at the Toyota. Oh, this thing flies. This thing flies. Feels like I'm driving a rocket right now. Oh gosh. Spin out. Spawn out. There we go. Okay, we got most of our trucks. Dude, I should have lined my other trucks over here. I, I still want to load up. Could we load up that RV on the 40-foot trailer? The RV's got to be longer than 40 feet. Yeah, it's got to be. But I would love to take that uh, Platinum because I didn't really use the Platinum too much. I'll take the Platinum one more time 
through there just because the platinum was i do like the platinum now i think i've, I've tried a different co a, a couple of different colors and the black seemed to be the best to be honest the black or i i guess the white seemed to be the best the, i thought the black was going to look sweet but the white and black this white and black looks the best in my opinion the black just it's tough to it just doesn't look as good i guess it's hard to describe we got the platinum badge which i think the platinum and Keen Ranch badge looks amazing on these new uh, four trucks. Definitely. Now, I only want them to do it on the Keen Ranch and Platinum. Like, don't start putting it on every four truck. Because, like, you know, it just... I don't know. It just looks... I think you should only have it on a couple different styles. Don't put it on every single one. Because re recently they introduced the Keen Ranch uh, badge on the back. Which, I'm cool with that. But just don't put it on, like, the Lariat and XLT eventually, you know? Platinum, she's a good truck, dude. Okay, anyways, guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. I kind of, I just, I really wanted to do a money video, and I wanted to show off Hunter's new truck basically throughout the video. I know I didn't, I didn't really show it enough. We kind of started out with it, but I didn't, I don't think I showed it enough. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, let me know, smash that like button. As always, you can get most of these trucks, not that 450 yet, but most of these trucks you can get on Expendables modding. Um, I guess. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. The Cummins is on Expendable Mining, but a lot of good quality mods are on Expendable's Mine. If you want to go check them out down in the description, check them out, guys. I've just followed their stuff a lot, and they got some pretty cool mods over there. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, brothers.